What's going on you guys? Brandon here. Um, I didn't really have any plans to make a video today, but I went thrifting again and I found some really cool stuff. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. There are a couple brands in there that maybe you've never heard of before. Um, I don't really want to do more than one haul video a week, but I think I found enough stuff today to make it worth it for the second video. Um, we got a special guest today, Tala. Um, so yeah, let me go get some of the stuff and we'll get into it. And if you're watching, if you don't mind just going down and giving me a subscribe, um, it's been cool making this stuff and I want to keep making it. Um, and it's been cool meeting some of you guys. So if you could just give a like and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Thank you. All right. So at this first store, we only spent $3 and 18 cents. Um, only got one thing. It's right here in my lap. $2.99 for this Disney Vacation Club license plate uh, cover. And it's pretty cool. It's just something that the members of the Disney Vacation Club would get. So it's not super common, I guess. And it looks like I could be able to sell on eBay for about 15 to 20, maybe 25. There's one on the back. I'm not sure if these are the same or if they're different. So it might be, this might be its own one. So maybe 15 each could be 30. Um, I'll look into it and I'll throw a comp on the screen, but not bad for the first store. All right, and this second store, we spent $40.87. First thing I'll show is this Squishmallow. Um, it is used, but it was only $4, and it looks like this is a little bit of a rare one. Um, nothing crazy, because I have sold these for like, I think the most expensive one I sold was over $100, and I sold plenty in like the $40, $50 range. It looks like this one should get maybe 30, 40 bucks. All right, and we got a couple clothing items as well. This first one is a Brooks and Dunn Red Dirt Road t-shirt. Um, I think that's an old Gildan tag. I'm not sure. I don't think it's vintage, but it's still a pretty nice shirt that was likely like a tour shirt. Maybe $20 on that one. And then the next t-shirt we have is an anti-social club t-shirt, which I think are pretty hot right now. I see these everywhere. Hoodies, t-shirts with this like graphic on it. So I picked it up, five bucks. I don't know, I'd have to look at it, but maybe 20, 25 bucks. And then the last clothing item we have is this Springfield Armory Nike like pullover. And there was a sold comp for 30 bucks on this. So it was $5, so I decided to pick it up. Next, we got this bag of toys for $7. There's really only one thing in here that I want. Um, it's this Elvis toy, let me pull it out. The rest of the toys are just like McDonald's Happy Meal toys. Um, I'll double check just to make sure there's no like hidden gem in there. But this is the Elvis toy from McFarland Toys. Uh, it says Elvis 68 Comeback Special. So 1968 Comeback Special. So it must just be a limited figure that they made. It's pretty cool though. And it looks like 40 bucks on this guy. McDonald's Happy Meal Toys Confirmed. And then next is this bag of electronics that we got for 1111. Again, there's only one thing in this bag that I actually want. The reason I bought this bag is for this Amazon Kindle. The model number is NM460GZ. So it looked like a pretty good one that I should be able to get 40 bucks for. I do have to make sure it's working. Um, so as long as it's working, 40 bucks. If not, a $10 gamble I think was worth it. Uh, and look at that, it's charged and it turned on. So I'd have to just make sure there's no like locking mechanism on this that I have to figure out, but pretty good score. All right, so in the second store, we spent $57.57. Um, we got quite a bit of things. We got some shoes that I wanna show you, which is probably the main reason why I made this video because there's some good shoes that we found today. Um, so let's get into it. All right, first thing I'm gonna show you guys are two mugs that I got. This first one is a Disney Store Cheshire Cat, Cheshire, Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Um, I couldn't find this one on eBay. I think there was one listed for like 45. I didn't see any sold but it was $2.99, so I just couldn't leave it there. It should sell, if I could get 20 for it, I think that's pretty good. And the next mug is this Honey Dukes mug from uh, Universal Studios, Harry Potter Land. Um, this one, there are some insane listings and quite a few solds, so I think this one's gonna sell for about 30, and this one was $1.99. You guys know I love my Disney and Universal mugs. All right, so a couple clothing items before we get into the shoes that we found today. First clothing item are these awesome Lululemon ABC pant or commission pant, one of the two. Um, I have to double check. 
They were $6.99 and they are a size 33 and they're gray. I mean, they just, they're just so nice. I might keep them. <laughs> and those pants should sell anywhere from $40 to $60, I would say. Next, we have this Adidas Mexico national team jersey, soccer jersey. A nice one. And it's recent, so I don't know if that's better or worse. I know like the vintage jerseys have some insane value. Um, and then I don't know about like a newer jersey. This is only a year or two old. So I'll throw a comp on the screen, but hopefully it does pretty good. Maybe 30, 40. I like to get 30 out of the jerseys. And this was $6.99. So if I could get 30, I'd be happy. All right, so now getting into the shoes. This first shoe is a brand that I've literally never heard of before in my life. Um, they just felt pretty well built. So I looked them up. They're like a kitchen shoe, like a waiters, waitresses, like restaurant workers would wear these shoes, like the non-slip. They have the non-slip bottoms. And the brand is snibs you can see that um they were eight dollars and they're in pretty good shape um yeah normally i would just pass something like this up just because it's kind of unassuming they look like a restaurant shoe so like the tread safe or sketchers makes like good restaurant shoes um but for some reason i just they looked a little different never heard of the brand so i decided to look them up and it looks like they should sell for 30, maybe 40 bucks. So that was a pretty good find and a brand I've never heard of before. Next, we found a pair of Hoka's. The, um, the model is Challenger ATR5. So they are looking good on the bottom. The nubs are all good, not a lot of wear. And they are a men's size nine and a half. And the best part is they were $7.99. So pretty much, even if it's a super old, model of hokas if they're 7.99 i'm probably gonna buy them um because these should sell for 40 maybe 50 pretty easily all right and next we have a good dress shoe bolo um probably a brand you guys have heard of before the brand is alan edmonds and first are these strand like cat toe oxfords um they were 9.99 so for alan edmonds that's a really good price um, and these are a, these are a size seven and a half. So kind of a small size. Sometimes it's a good thing. Um, but size seven and a half, really nice, really nice shoes in pretty good shape. Um, and these ones looks like it should sell for maybe 40, 50 bucks for $9.99. I'll take that. And another pair of Allen Edmonds. These ones are the McTavish style. These are like the wingtip and these are like heavier, like they're definitely more well built and it reflects in the resale price. It looks like I should be able to get 60, maybe 70 for these. And they must have been donated by the same person because these are also a seven and a half. Not bad for $9.99. The one thing I will say about Allen Edmond is that when I started reselling like years ago, those were like a great, great shoe to find. You could probably sell them for upwards of $100 no matter what. Um, but now I think the resale market has found out that brand a little more. So definitely lower and also dress shoes. I feel like just a lot of people working from home, maybe dress shoe market, maybe gone down a little bit. So a bunch of different factors, but there's still a good sale if you could find the right style for the right price. All right. So as I was leaving that store with all that stuff, um, I was walking out and I saw on one of the shelves that they have like the expensive stuff where they price up. I saw this figure set. So let me show it to you. It's this New York Mets 1969 championship team figure set. And it's just, it's awesome. I'm actually a huge Mets fan, so I just couldn't leave this. It was 40 bucks, which is priced up, but the sold comps are actually pretty crazy. There's one that sold recently for 200, 300, and, and then close to $400, I think was the last one. Um, only thing that sucks is that these three on the end must've gotten dropped on because he's his glove is chipped off and then these two hats are chipped off, but it's so cool. I'm probably gonna keep it for myself, um, but if I wanted to sell it, maybe someone would look past the chips for maybe 200, just because it's like a pretty rare piece. Tala's upset. But yeah, probably gonna keep it for myself, but I thought I would show you guys because it's pretty awesome. All right, and the final store we went to today, we spent $29.78. And the first thing we got with that money is this Under Armour Orange Theory fitness bag. Um, the backpack itself wouldn't be worth much. I just bought it because they had the Orange Theory embroidery on here. I couldn't even find a sold comp 
but I just know that that gym is super expensive to go to, hundreds of dollars a month just for like to go to one class a week or something like that. So I figured it was a good like pickup to grab a backpack um, and it was only $7. So I figured it was a good risk. Next thing we got is this Wilson softball mitt. The model is A360. It was $4.99 and this is probably a $20 bill. And then we got two clothing items. The first thing is this Chicago Cubs like Hawaiian shirt and it's actually really soft. Pretty nice shirt um, and a good size 2XL. So I'm hoping with baseball season right around the corner that this will be like a $30 bill. There's no $30 bills. And then a really nice pair of Lululemon pants again. So these are a size 34 and they're really solid. They're like a well-built like khaki it feels like. And these were $8.99. So like the other pair of pants that I bought from Lulu, these should be worth anywhere from 50 to 60 bucks probably. All right, that is all for that haul. Um, four stores, got a lot of good items. Um, so thanks for watching this short little haul. If you like videos like this, I know my last video was like over 20 minutes. No one really watched it. <laughs> so I figured maybe I'll try a shorter style video, just do a thrift haul. Maybe I'll do like a what sold video as its own thing if I were to do that and not combine the two. Um, but yeah, I thought it was enough stuff in there to show a little haul and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe again and see you guys next time.